And so the feud between Monique and her sister Millicent has resumed once again. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm up. I know it's weird because of my insomnia, but I'm up and busy. I was doing some morning cleaning, so I'm taking a break because I'm about to eat breakfast soon. And I want to give you this tea about the whole rift between D.L. Hughley and Monique. And now her sister Millicent has basically put her two cents in once again. So Millicent is the sister of Monique, okay? And Millicent and Monique, they've never had the best relationship, but... A couple of years ago, Millicent called out Monique because of how she basically was not showing up to support their mother when their mother was sick. And so there's a lot of resentment that Millicent has for Monique, but there's also a lot of resentment that Monique has for Millicent. So I'm going to talk about what Millicent has spoken about in regards to the whole D.L. Hughes situation. Just give me one moment because it looks like my thing kind of timed out. Okay, so this is it. According to HotNewHipHop.com, Monique's sister goes off on her on her following D.L. Hughley spat, Stop the Madness. The actress has faced a wave of backlash after involving Hughley's family in her fight, mentioning his daughter's sexual abuse and trauma. Although Monique has since detailed her grievances with D.L. Hughley, many people are still struggling to understand her recent attacks on her peer. The internet world has carefully watched the fallout between... Monique and Hughley. And it's a vicious exchange that was launched by the Oscar winner. Although Monique initially stated that she was upset about a headline in Snafu that occurred during a comedy show with Hughley, she later said that she took to the stage to disparage him because he made negative comments about her years ago. Hughley isn't one to take an insult lying down. So he jumped on his platform to react. He questioned why he was her target about comedy show contracts and suggested that despite Monique's complaints about people like Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, she was the problem. Then Monique dug deep and fired off a video to Hughley where she brought up his daughter. Hughley previously shared during an interview that when his daughter told him that a good friend had sexually abused her, he struggled to believe it. He did finally stand by her side but he spoke on how many people often dismiss their children or others who verbalize stories of abuse. He, Monique used this recounting to insult Hughley. The entire debacle has caused Monique to face an onslaught of backlash from not only the public, but from her sister, Billison Imes. In a Facebook post, the comedians can told her to knock it off. Enough is enough. My sister, stop the madness. It's not a good look. Millicent wrote in a lengthy Facebook post several days ago. Warning, Monique, that this drama will only bring her down. She cautioned the star, God has shut you down before. And believe me, he will do it again. Let's start by staying on topic. You are and have been displacing your anger on the wrong people. She said it was maddening to see Monique embarrass herself. Again, clean your house up and you'll be set free. LOL. I have receipts. As your old bodyguard used to say, let's play nice. As you say, this is all coming from a place of love. Sister, stop. And the actual message is below it. I'm going to read it. So on June 4th, Monique's sister, Millicent Arms, posted on her Instagram. Enough is enough, my sister. Stop the madness. It's not a good look. God has shut you down before. And believe me, he will do it again. Let's start by saying on topic. You are and have been displacing your anger. On the wrong people. Why don't you start sister with you? And that begins with one digging deep and praying. When we pray and God hears us. And he gives it back to us. It should say something to you. 
But you choose to listen to the devil who was once a fallen angel. Take heed and clean your house up because it's dirty. Sis, you're coming with the same story over and over again. It's, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Your career has been dead in the past and now it's about to come to life. And now you are killing it again. And now the plug is about to be pulled on you and you are about to be canceled again. This time, flatline. I just can't take no more text messages or phone calls. At one time, the stage and the world was your oyster. What you're doing now is offensive to this family, our parents and your siblings. But all of a sudden, it's about you having to be right, good, bad or indifferent. And now you are wrong as two left shoes. It's absolutely maddening to see you embarrass yourself like this, which at this time is a reflection on the family, your true biological family, not your made up family or your wife, but your siblings and our parents. May they rest in peace or turn it over in heaven on your earthly behavior. Although you did not show up to your father's or your mother's funeral service, I'm sure they forgive you because they know who their child used to be. I see you are making statements about other people's children. So where are yours? Again, clean your house up and you'll be set free. LOL, I have receipts. As your old bodyguard used to say, let's play nice. As you say, this is all coming from a place of love. Sister, stop. Your biological sister, Millicent, love you to life and will be here for you always. So that's what Millicent said. Now, I'm going to give you a backstory of Millicent. Millicent is Monique's sister who at one time was a drug addict. And I found this out because I'm a Monique fan and I saw her intimate portrait back in 2003. And she spoke about how Millicent used to get high on drugs Supposedly, her drug of choice was heroin and crack, but more so heroin. And she would hold her her babies in her arm and she would nod off. And Monique saw this as she basically told her parents, y'all going to let this go on? Y'all not going to stop her? The baby is in her arms and she's high. Or for drugs. And Millicent was beautiful when she was young. She was beautiful. And she was actually the prize child. She was the prize. And Gerald was the prize. And Gerald was the molester. And turned out to molest other kids. Which is why he's in 12 years in jail. And Millicent did drugs. We don't know why she did drugs. Maybe something happened to her. We don't know. But Millicent did get clean. And Millicent, I did research. Millicent was actually, actually was working at Walmart. I don't know if she still does. But she was working at Walmart. And her and Monique, they've had this relationship that's could have been contentious. Because Millicent was the beautiful one. Monique was the fat one. But Millicent didn't become as successful as Monique did. So there's like this resentment from both sides. Now, I'm going to say how I feel about Melissa's statement. I understand how you feel about your sister when it comes to her not seeing her parents. That was that was just that was just sad. How she's not close with the family because she's taking sides with Sydney. You call Sydney her wife. I don't think that's cool. That's a man. And I've said my things, you know, my 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 um, you know, commentary about Sydney, but I would never call a man out of his gender. He is her husband, he's not his wife. He's not her wife. You basically emasculated him and that was wrong. Another thing is that why isn't the family addressing the molestation that happened? With Monique. Because that's the real crux of this whole thing as to why Monique is not being coming around the family. When her brother held one of the twins, I believe that he tried to touch 
This is just what I'm going to say. I believe he tried to molest one of those twins when they was in, when she was in the, um, the delivery room. And I believe when she basically said, give me my twins back, that she was like, I'm done. That she saw that he was not a changed person. And I believe that because it's like, how come you were taking pictures with your brother when you were the up and coming comedian? Y'all was all close. But then once you give birth to your twins, something in you like shakes and you don't want to deal with him anymore. Something happened in that room. And I think the problem with this family is that the parents favored that older brother. And they never checked his behavior. Which is why he ended up harming more kids. And I believe that child, they just pushed it under the rug. And I believe Monique kind of pushed it under the rug by eating a lot. And then all of a sudden something in her woke up. And it could have been her husband that Sydney that called us out. Because remember, Sydney knows all of them because they were friends growing up. She met him when he when she was like 12 or 13. They knew each other. They had dated once before when they was teens. A lot of people don't know this. He's not just some fly-by-night person that she met when she was famous. He knew her when they was in high school together. Okay? And I believe that he probably said, I don't want him near my children. And they probably got upset. And I believe that something went down in that delivery room. And that's why... She wasn't messing with them no more because they sided with him. So if we're going to call out Monique, fine. You can talk about her not visiting her parents because I do think that closure was needed. You can talk about her not seeing her family, like her nieces and nephews, her cousins. Fine. But if these are the people that sided with the brother who harmed her, then no, she don't need to deal with y'all. And that's something that y'all have to talk about. Y'all need to talk about that because when I saw that video on YouTube with them on the um on Oprah's Winfrey show, the brother who was her manager who used to be with her everywhere, he basically was saying how yes, is it happened, but he showed her love and he, and then he asked for forgiveness and they were close. Okay, yeah, but that don't mean that she has to basically move on from it. She's a victim. She's a victim. And I think that's a problem that we have as a community, particularly with the older ones. Y'all don't want to really, a lot of y'all older ones don't really like to address abuse in y'all family. And then y'all get mad when a person who was abused, the victim, don't want to deal with y'all. And now you're talking about you know, her, how she reacted with D.L. Hughley. Listen, the D.L. Hughley situation, it shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have came about like that. But this man talked about her for years. So she chose to go at him on the show. Now, I wouldn't have done it because especially with my career coming back to the forefront, I wouldn't have wasted my energy on D.L. Hughley. But that's Monique. That's how she is. One, she's a sad. They get A lot of them get down like that. And number two... She basically just wanted to get at him and the contract dispute was a perfect opportunity. But what I would say to Melissa Himes, I'm just, you know, trying to reach out to your sister and have a talk with her. Because y'all issues from watching the intimate portrait is deeper than like the whole thing with how with the husband. And how she don't want to like talk with y'all. And how she was blackballed. It's stuff that happened to y'all at childhood. And with that being said. I'm signing off. I'll be back later to give y'all more commentary. Take care.